Morning guys. Today I have a bit of a different video for you. Very cute. Hopefully not a sad ending. Um, we have a cute little potty lamb that I'm looking after. Um, she's just down here. She's looking rather sick, but before I get into that, I'll insert some phone footage that I have that's a bit chaotic from yesterday, right now. All right, I have come home from an hour away shopping, and um, that's how far we live from a shopping center. And um, yeah, Dad's rung me to say, when you get home, check your chicken coop because there is a potty lamb in there. And I'm exhausted. This one is not in a good way. She's got a few infections under her gooey ones. I've got some antiseptic here for her. Mixed a bottle up and as soon as I opened her mouth she started bleeding. So I'm not sure what's going on there, whether she's got a grass seed stuck. Um, she's quite weak. I'm trying to get her to sit up and take a bottle and um, we'll just see how she goes. But yeah, stay tuned because I'll document it all. So just teaching her how to feed out of a bottle at the moment. There we go. I swapped the bottle out and put a different teat on, a smaller one, just to see if she'll get used to that one. Dad only put her in the chicken coop just to, um, come on darling, drink up, to um, secure her, but we do have an area for her. Um, I wouldn't keep her in there just because there's chicken feed in there, I don't want her to get sick. Her mouth was bleeding, I think she's cut herself just here. Um, I did check her mouth for grass seeds, so couldn't see anything. Come on darling, drink up. Because she is a quite big, she's not newborn, she's used to her mum's teat. And so she's not used to this one. Come on. My hands are covered. They're disgusting. My good pants, but oh well. A oh, bit of a uh, suckle now, which is good. And her eyes opening up a bit more. So I have trapped the lamb up into our back veranda for now. Um, there's a whole story with that, but right now um, I'm going over to the big shed to go get some teramycin. I think she has pink eye. The start of it anyway. Um, if you don't know what pink eye is, she has like a cloudy eye that eventually can turn to blindness. Um, it's very infectious. Basically she has like a big white dot on her eye. So I'm gonna go and get that now and I'll explain in the car what's been going on with the lamb and why we've got her. Of course my shotgun rider's coming with me, Maggie. Maggie, come on, girl. I lift her up though, because she's only little. Oh, helps when I get the car keys. Okay, I went to start the car, not my keys. I haven't had a coffee yet. You're in the door from last night, locking it. Maggie's run down to the chooks. We've got the chicken coat finished, which is great. But, um, I'll show that in another video. I'd like to say my dog's very obedient, but when it comes to the chickens, I can't snap her out of it. She doesn't, not that she's not listening. It's, um, she's too fixated on it. Here's a little bit of the coat. Maggie! Good girl, come on. You just gotta get her distracted. Come on, Maggie! Let's go! <laughs> she's not purposely being silly, she's just a pup and she's all excited. Anyway, let's go over to the shed. Hello! Oh, it's from a weird angle. You guys might have to listen to me on a weird angle because well, we're living on a farm and it uh, gets bumpy, so if I put it the other way, it's not going to stay. Anyway, so the story with the lamb is our family friend is moving his sheep off our property. Um, he's finished doing his hay and he's got space back there now, so he's popping them there. And then like you guys know the plan was that we're going to get our sheep once we've given our paddocks a little bit of a rest for a while over summer. Sheep prices are terrible. Um, I saw some Aussie whites the other day going for 38 bucks a head. It's just insane, the prices. <laughs> Sit down Maggie. It's a bit hard isn't it because it's so bumpy. So yeah, we're holding off. I'm also thinking instead of getting sheep at the moment, maybe just getting a few cows. But uh, we'll see, starting off our... But I, I really want either Angus or Hereford, but I'm not 
I can't decide between the two. Other than me working on farms and in sow yards and roping them at rodeos, having cattle as a farm and as a business will be a whole new learning curve for us. Anyway, back to the lamb. Um, yeah, friends moving his sheep off dad's property. Because there were so many, um, it's very common that mamas and babies can get mismothered when they're getting pushed up into the yards and stuff. Also use sometimes die during birth. Also, um, sometimes the mama abandons the baby. And also, sometimes the mum has to be put out of her misery from being fly blown or something silly like that. Just trying to reverse here without hitting anything. So when I got to the lamb, she'd been in the chicken coop and as soon as I went to put a bottle in her mouth, she was bleeding all through her mouth. I couldn't find grass seeds or anything like that. Grass seeds are the tops of the grass here, some of the grass, and um, they weevil in. They're really terrible. So one time at one of our dogs that looks very much like Maggie, but he was black and white. Um, Turbo, he got grass seeds twice in one year in his ear and it went so far in that the vet had to operate to get it out, put him to sleep to get it out. So you are doing? He's going to get out and chase sheep. There's sheep all in the yard here because dad's um, and his mate are picking them up, the rest of them today, this morning. Um, so yeah, anyway, this, so this lamb didn't look too good. She was very weak um, and obviously stressed out because she got chucked in the chicken coop. Normally you wouldn't keep a lamb in a chicken coop because of the chicken feed, but it's all my dad had at the time. He was in a rush. Grab the lamby out. Um, I'll finish the story while I go get the teramycin. You stay there, Maggie, because I don't want you chasing sheep. Not yet. Maggie's still under training. Um, yeah, so we got the sheep in here. Like I said, they're not ours. They're family friends. You see in the back here. They're all yarded up. It's really hard to get a shearer at the moment. Normally they'd be shorn, but um, it's just insane. And the price of uh, sheep at the moment is ridiculous. Just coming over to look for this teramycin. Uh, anyway, so this lamb was very weak. I tried to give her a bottle, she wouldn't take it. I swapped the teats over many times, I've got different sized teats. She's obviously used to feeding from her mum, so it's just a big learning curve for her. Notice she was fly blown on the back. Fly blown is when the maggots, well, sheep land on them, lay eggs, maggots hatch under the skin and start eating the lamb. And it's really, really horrible. It happens to big ewes too. Um, and that's why normally you get them shorn at a certain time of the year or at least get them crutched on their back end. So, you know, with them pooping, that's going to attract the flies. And then of course, the eggs then the maggots more so this poor lamby obviously there was too many flies out there and she got hit not overly bad but i only had dog clippers so i've clipped her all off treated her put antiseptic on her i noticed her eye wasn't good yesterday but i wasn't sure if she'd rammed into the chicken coop when she was stressing when we went home when i didn't know we even had her at that point um, so I've woken up this morning and it looks like she's got pink eye. So gonna go and treat her if I could find this. If not, I'll have to go to town this morning. It's only 6.30 in the morning right now. So Connor's still sleeping and, um, oh, teramycin, found it. So go and treat her with this. Basically it's a broad spectrum antibiotic for treatment of eye infections of animals and in particular pink eye conditions in sheep and cattle. Hoping it helps her. She's also got a runny nose. She has not barred all night, not made a noise, and I've never had a potty lamb not make a noise all night. They normally are looking for you, they're scared, and they want a feed, and she didn't make one noise. So I am very worried that she won't survive. I've prepped the kids for that, but we know we've done all we can, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. Hey, I know you want to go check the sheep. So the other day, a farm down the road forgot two of their ewes. Actually, they're probably older ewe lambs, but um, and they came wandering up my driveway to the cottage. And Maggie got to have her first experience chasing some lambs, so she did really good. She actually listened, she looked very proud of herself. And we got them through this small gate. Which, I mean, if you're 
new to sheep, you might not know, but it's easier to get sheep, like 500 head of sheep to a destination than it is two sheep. Because if you just, just get a few going, the mob follows. But um, it's gonna be a cracking day today. It's uh, 35 degrees Celsius, it's still spring. Um, blue, blue, blue skies, you can see out here. And it is like a dust bowl at the moment. It's either, I'm just giving you a bit of a picture of where we're living at the moment. No green grass anywhere. We're in dry season. And like I've said before, moving to Australia from Canada again. Like we, we're from Australia, we moved to Canada, come back. I'm sure you guys are sick of that disclaimer, but, well not disclaimer, but me saying that every time because I get new followers every video. So I have to sort of explain that we were living in Canada and we don't have the green grass like we do in Canada during spring or summer. We're the opposite. Sort of like when you guys have the snow, imagine that, but it's dry. <laughs> There's no snow and we're the opposite seasons. So our winter and autumn is full of um, green grass in the very start of spring and then the rest is dry, 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 dry. I'll just swing the camera around. So yeah, that's what the whole of the wheat belt's like at the moment, unless there's a crop in and everyone's harvesting at the moment. So pretty much all looks like that. You can't be on here, darling. You got your jockeys on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Maggie. Maggie's excited. Good girl, aren't you? I'll carry you down though, because I don't want you damaging your joints yet. A little bit of a plug of my stock but um i use one of our out west blankets picnic blankets okay buddy as a um protector on my seat if you're new here we had a western business called out west rancher in canada we've moved to australia and i've called it now out west country because we don't call farms ranches we call them farms or stations in australia um but it's not open yet i've got the website almost done i've just got to redesign some of the font change the sizing which is a lot of coding it's not simple then these will be up for sale again and some other items all right so originally i was going to pop the lambs because we knew we were going to get a few lambs from this um carding the sheep um into the horse round yard hello little miss um but because this was done so quickly i didn't know that our family friend was coming and I was out. I've just trapped her in here for now, which isn't the best place because there is sheep poo everywhere and she's just weighing on the deck. And this is where we have barbecue. So this is what it looks like at the moment. But today we'll be setting up the round yard for her, the round pen, blocking it off, getting some straw in there. I've already bought it all. It's just I haven't set it up. And she's got a few lamb pellets in here, hey? It's a good sign she's up, but not a good sign she's not drinking much and her eye's not good. I'll try and take a photo, a video. I don't know if you guys can see. She's just starting there. If not, I'll put a picture up of what pink eye is. But um, And all this is milk spilt under her. I need to fix her and she's got a runny nose, so she's not doing too well. I'm sorry, girl. It's not nice, but it's what's gonna help you. I don't know if you guys can see that sun shining right there, but I'm trying everything. Clipped her back end for her. We'll get you going. I might give you another bottle, see how you go. Hey, you might have to get a needle later today too. You want a little shake? Oh, we're having a wee, which is a good sign. That means the drink's going through her, the milk. Maggie Moo, what are you doing? You're not meant to be up here. Be gentle. Don't go near her because pink eye is not good for you. Sit. Good girl. Little cuties. I went to walk away and she came and ran after me. So I, I'm hoping after we get her eye treated, sort that snotty nose out, she'll be all right. She just needs to pick up. Maggie! Little cheeky bugger. Maggie, come on. Good girl. Just a dumb pup, aren't you? When I say dumb, she's really not. Maggie, come on. Oh, we're having a wee. Um, yeah, we're gonna spend the day fixing this lamb, get that all sorted out. I gotta do groceries, and then we got a barbecue with a mate tonight. 
Connor's still having a sleep. I don't know what time it is. 7.45. I suppose that's not too late for a sleep in, is it? <laughs> I'm just up early because I'm going to do the chooks, the cat. The dog, the cat goes off at like 6 o'clock in the morning for some meat. She just knows. Um, when I say cat, I mean our kitten Oreo. And then obviously I'm bottle feeding the lamb, so I'm up early. Oh, and that's just the pets. I've also got two kids. <laughs> Gotta feed those. Oh, a little update on my uh, flowers. The heat killed them. We've got a new regrowth down here. I'm not sure whether I should be clipping these bits off or whether that should kill them, would kill them if I clipped them, but I haven't had time to Google that. Maybe you guys can let me know. All right, she prefers this teat to the smaller ones. We've got smaller teats here. She prefers these ones. Um, and I haven't mixed up as much this time because it's just wasteful. She doesn't drink that much at the moment. I'm hoping she'll perk up soon. Oh, you know who your new mama is? Hey. <laughs> okay, it's going to be hard to film, but because I have to actually physically open her mouth. At a girl. Normally I'd stand over her and sort of hold her so she doesn't go backwards, but I'm trying to film for you guys. Normally a lamb will pull pretty hard and forcefully on that and their little tails go, but it's just not really too interested. All right, my hair is an absolute mess. I um, am not liking the way she's going. I'm gonna drive into town now and go to Nutrient or Elders. It's good that she's shitting. She's having a phone now and she's weeing and she's standing up, but her nose is getting very worse. And in the last two hours, it's not going good. So I might have to go pop down there and pick some stuff up and this is why people usually don't eat their potty lambs because you get so attached and you put so much work and effort into them it's just a pain she's got wool because that means every year we're gonna have to shear her all right i'm gonna go to town go do that keep you updated also i think she's bonded with me as soon as i walked to the door she can followed me and that's less than 24 hours um also wanted to mention oh, this house is like a tip at the moment we've got washing needs hanging out and um you have to disinfect all your teats and bottles after every use just in case you're wondering i need to do that now Yeah, so uh, Oreo, our kitten, is trying to play with the camera and she's about to go right in front of it. So because that uh, lamb is not doing well, it's really like even more important. Oreo, out the way. <laughs> what are you doing? It's even more important to uh, disinfect everything because you don't want, if I get another lamb, to be sharing the same tea or bottle and, hey, and getting um, sick. I mean, Obviously, I'm going to do the best I can by not letting them share bottles, but it can happen, especially with kids around. So, yeah, just important to clean everything thoroughly and just in case you're getting potty lamps. All right, I'm going to go go pick up. Look at us so we can see your beautiful face. I'm going to um, go pick up the stuff from town now. Do you know what I was thinking just as I was leaving? She looks like Braveheart, William Wallace. Maybe we need to call her something along those lines. <laughs> I'm also gonna go and do some groceries while I'm in town. Normally Friday's my grocery day, but it's gonna be Saturday instead because I was so, so busy yesterday. I could not believe how much I had to do yesterday. Stay-at-home mums do so much, but when you're a stay-at-home mum on a farm, with all these animals, even if it's just a hobby farm. It just does not stop, just the morning chores. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. I absolutely love this life. I wouldn't want to live any other way. But, um, I mean, it'd be nice if it wasn't so bloody hot. But um, I wouldn't want my lifestyle to be any different, but it is draining. Welcome to Generation Ag, a podcast for the future of agriculture. I'm Kayla. And I'm looking When we are old. I better go first Cause a second without you in this life would be the worst But until then, I'll go where you go I will follow your lead to the end of the earth But when we are old, I better go first While no one's here, so it's not awkward while I'm filming at the fuel stop um, This is the price of fuel, and this is per litre, remember, not gallon It's pretty expensive compared to Canada, that's for sure I'm full of diesel
picked up some more teramycin, which is the pink eye stuff. Um, other than wiping her nose, which is what I've already done, we'll just see how she goes. We're going to a barbecue tonight and I was told to bring something sweet um, if I wanted to. So I'm bringing pavlova, but as you can see, it's already started to fall apart because it's so bloody hot. If you don't know what pavlova is, look it up. It's an Australian delicacy. <laughs> it's like meringue at the bottom with like cream and fruit and stuff on top, but just thought I'd show you guys. On my way home from grocery shopping, uh, Dad's called me to say that there's another little lamb. This one's a lot younger. It's uh, pretty much a newborn, apparently. I haven't seen it yet. Um, he's told me to go go by and pick it up or get Connor too so I've run Connor to go over to the shed because dad's doing another load in the truck with his mate with all the sheep um this mum has just abandoned her just driving down to the shed dad's got some of the sheep loaded up there in our mate's truck and then in the back of the trailer here I know this video is not about the pavel over but it's so fallen apart from the bumps on the road and the heat and I've had the air con on this whole time and it's just not, not going good. Oh, it can run. I don't know where mum is with that one. It could be here, it could be over there. I've never yeah. seen it run to a mother like here. A little boy. Think. Mum could be over there. All right, kids are gonna pop it in the car with them. All right, pop them in here. Oh, you look after it. I've got a Pavel over in the car, I've got a nurse. Morning. Oh my god. I uh, broke my sunglasses. I had a $10 pair of sunglasses that have lasted me three years. I took them from Australia to Canada and then back again and they broke last night. They're just from obviously old age and they're only 10 bucks. So I've got these real stylish ones here which are Connors because I'm like a vampire outside. I hate not having um, sunglasses on. I'm going over to the shed and over to the sheep yards to dismantle some to borrow to use for uh, making some yards over on the grass area over here for the sheep. They've spent way too long out on that back deck. They're going really well. Um, oh, I'm saying that the little lamby that we got yesterday, he's a boy, feeds really well. But the older one, I'm hoping she, she'll be a little happier once we're off the back deck. I'm gonna go pick up some yards now. I wanna get the new GoPro, the one, I'm pretty sure it's got like a little selfie screen on it. Oh God, don't judge me on my way of opening a gate here. Um, I really wanna get, yeah, the GoPro with the selfie screen because I hate taking this good camera out. And the quality on your phone, it's not that great. I mean, it's all right, you use it every now and then. But yeah, let me know if you guys have the new, newer GoPro. It doesn't have to be the brand new one. Um, and I'll, I'll look into get one of those, I reckon, because that'll be great, chuck it on, on me when I'm on the quad or just out and about. You can thrash it around a bit and not have to worry about it too much. So there's some yards, please ignore these glasses. I know they look like men's glasses, because they are. Um, there's yards behind me that I'm just gonna dismantle. We're not having any stock in here until after summer. So by then, the little lambies would have grown up and they'll be out in the big paddock. So I'm gonna borrow these. Yeah, it's good. So we're redoing all the yards very soon, doing a whole different layout in here. It's a bit, as my dad says, shitty. Um, yeah, just redesigning, de ugh. I need another coffee. Redesigning the race and the whole sheep yard basically. So me taking these out isn't gonna screw anything up. So just in case you're wondering. Oh yeah, look at that, Class. so dainty. Oh, there's another spider. It's jumping towards the camera. All right, before you judge, this is so, so safe. Look at those Oki straps right there. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I'm literally just driving 
on our part of the farm to like on our farm on the main road over to the cottage so do not judge i know i could have put these in better it's just me here it'll do and uh just gotta be careful these don't <laughs> come back and ping you in the face because that'll hurt right as rains hey but it's a beautiful day here i was a little weary of snakes in here in the longer grass it's 35 degrees again today so they'll be on the move but yeah like i said we're going to be setting up this yard a hell of a lot different and we're getting i think some of these yard panels are a family friends i think not all of them are dads anyway so connor and i'll be setting up our business here of sheep and some cattle and um yeah we need to get all our yards and stuff but that'll be our summer project and then once summer's over we'll buy our sheep so dad is uh in the process he's painted all these poles along here and he's gonna fence it off and he's got some new trees growing in here further down here but um it's gonna look real nice once those trees grow up it'll be a nice tree line driveway we made it back successfully nothing fell off the back of the year <laughs> i told you guys i'm amazing at strapping stuff on um i'm thinking behind here would be a good spot to chuck the lambs there's uh, plenty of shade here with the trees. Might put a little bit of shade cloth up just for those times. It's like an hour in the day where the sun's not hitting it right and there's no shade. But um, yeah, I think we might chuck them around here. I was originally going to pop them in the round pen, but um, as you can see, there's no shade there and I may as well utilize nature. So chuck them here. What do you guys reckon? I haven't put it all together properly yet, but I've dragged it all around. Roughly put it together. Oh, I can hear the kids are coming out. They're coming out the cottage. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go get some wire, put it all together, go get some water set up, put some, uh, what do you call it? Straw down. God, I, I need a drink of water so bad. Put some straw down, um, just make it all homely for them and yeah, throw them in there. We were expecting to get you know 10 plus lambs but luckily it all worked out for them and we ended up with two so oh here comes connor woken up <laughs> we actually went out last night and i'm the one who drank and he drove but we didn't get in till about one o'clock with the kids and they had a big sleep in and what time's it now 10 30. have you had breakfast no nah. oh you're doing the dishes um yeah, what do you reckon? Here? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't put it all together properly yet. The back bits are sort of together, but... Is that all the pans of the yard? I took these off the yard. Yeah. Yeah. All right, oh. I'm going to go set it up. Bugger, bugger, bugger. So we were thinking this would be the spot, and then I noticed a ant hole here, and Connor goes, oh, I don't know if it's actually got anything in it. I think it's an old one. Well, no, I stubbed this, shoved this stick in there, and the size of those ants, I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're friggin' huge. So we're obviously not going to put the pen here. I'm going to pop it on maybe the other side. Such a pain! What are you doing, Mags? Hey? Alright, I am just out here grabbing this trough. I've just undone it all over here. I took the star pickets out, but I'm going to chuck it on the back here and... We can use it over with the little lammies. I know it's a bit big, but um, yeah, saves me bringing water out all the time. Holds a lot more. All right, now to get it off. But yeah, we've set up a different area over here. And little lammy here is an escape artist. We've gone over to get some more wire to wrap around this yard. I'm a little worried about this little girl down here. She's uh, starting to scour. I'm gonna give her a B12 shot um, to boost her up a bit. And um, once this yard's set up, then it'll be set up pretty much permanently here for the future. Joys of starting up in a new country again, having to start fresh with everything. Oh boy, I'm exhausted. Been non-stop all day. Just bringing it up in Tilly's little beach bucket. That's all I could find for now. Some more lamb pellets 
little one's a little young to eat them, but the other one should be able to. So it's almost complete. Um, Dad came home from helping his mate at the other farm. He slept the night there and um, saw me putting this together. And so he went over and grabbed me some um, wire and we put it around together. I, uh, as you saw, put the trough in, filled it up. We've got some straw down there for bedding. Hey Maggie, good girl. She's so good with the sheep, just not, not bothered by them at all. I ended up giving this little miss, the one that's struggling, a B12 shot. I forgot to mention Dad's on his way back. He's gonna go pick up some shade cloth for me so there'll be a big shade cover over here for them. There was shade an hour ago here, but it sort of shifted to behind me. Um, what are you doing, Maggie? The kids have named them already, which means they can no longer go in the freezer one day because once you name them, they're yours forever. So this one here is called Pavlova, and this one here is called Boomerang, which is really cute. That one, the smallest one's a boy, and this one's a girl. A weather and a you. Well. He still has his bit still, but he will be a weather. We need to ring him and that's a whole nother video. Anyway guys, I really hope there's going to be a good update for this one in the next video. We're trying everything we can and um, yeah, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.